Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with a Sprinkle of Love, or welcome if you're new. Today I have my Sprinkle of Love here to help me. Hey guys, today we're going to be making a no-bake cheesecake. I know it's hot outside, but this is a good thing we could do today. <laughs> yeah, today we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to make a no-bake cheesecake. Like Mason mm -hmm. said, it's very hot outside and it's not always fun to bake in the heat, so this is something else you can do. <laughs> okay. So you're going to need two sleeves of graham crackers. Just run them through the food processor or put them in a Ziploc bag and just hit them with a rolling pin. 11 tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of sugar, two eight ounce packages of cream cheese at room temperature. Make sure it's at room temperature. That's really important or else it won't mix together well. You'll end up with a lumpy cheesecake. Um, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, a fourth cup of lemon juice, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now the two tablespoons of sugar, I've already added them in here with the graham crackers. And what you're gonna do is pour your melted butter in here. You wanna mix this part? Yeah. You're gonna pour the melted butter in with the graham crackers. I'll just mix it, I'll just mix in the whole video. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and mix this. Make sure you could crunch it a bit so it could be a bit soft so it could be easy for you to mix a bit. Right, okay, so you're gonna combine, combine the butter and the graham crackers until it looks like wet sand. So now what you're gonna do is take your springform pan. Honestly, you can just skip this step and buy a pre-made press. It's just as good, but if not, Take a springform pan or any pie pan you have, spray it down. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, even the even if if it's And you're gonna put it in your pan. Yeah. Go ahead. Even, even the no bake cheesecake mix mix could also could also smell like grand crackers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just take a measuring cup or any kind of cup and push it down. You can bring it up to the edges if you like, but I prefer just to have all the crust on the bottom. <laughs> this could taste good. This could taste good. This could taste good too. And you could add any ingredients if you're done. Like you could add strips, you could add strawberries, and other things. Okay. And what you're gonna do is take this and refrigerate it while you get your filling ready. Then you're gonna combine your cream cheese, lemon juice, vanilla extract and sweetened condensed milk in a mixer or you can use a hand mixer or even a whisk since it's so soft. You want to pour the lemon juice in there? Go ahead and pour the lemon juice in. Oh yeah, I want to pour that too. Okay, lemon juice. Okay, here, go ahead and pour this. Okay. The whole thing? The whole thing, baby. Okay. And then I have some vanilla extract here. And you're just going to combine this all until everything's smooth. of the crust and I put it in some cupcake liners to make some little mini cheesecakes as well. So just put a little spoonful in each. Have some chocolate ganache here and I'm just gonna pour this over top. Ooh. I think I should try one. You wanna try one of these chocolate ones? They look good, huh? Yeah. What should I want, like, right before after the video? Right before after the video? Yeah. This one out here. You want to lick the spoon? You can lick the spoon. And I'm just going to uh -huh. pour. How come you're going off camera? <laughs> to wash it. Okay. And I'm going to pour this cheese mixture, cheesecake mixture. Just going to pour it right in. Make sure you get all of it out. Don't waste any of that. 
you like the way it tasted? Did you like it or no? A little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, I can take it out. the chocolate cheesecake one. Oh, you want the chocolate one? That's why. Just smooth it out. Smooth it out. You want to smooth it out? Go ahead and smooth it out. Okay. Okay. While he smooths it out, I'm gonna explain to you the hardest part. You have to let it set in the refrigerator for at least four hours, preferably overnight so it can firm up. I know guys, it's a long time, but it'll be worth the wait. All right guys, we're back. It's been about four and a half hours later. We couldn't wait overnight, huh? That's too long. Yeah, that's... We wanna try it already. Yeah. So here we go. You want the chocolate one? Yeah, I'll take yeah. the chocolate I'll hold one. it for you. Oh. What do you think? It's a bit cold, but it's even delicioso. It's a bit cold, but it's delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And let me know how this recipe works out for you guys. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Leave a comment. Even put the, click the no notifications all the way up from the top. Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Bye. Bye.